set and drift practice problem two. Now in the first one I told you you were going to see a more streamlined version in these problems and that's what you're going to see this time. We're going to do all the math and then we'll plot on the chart. But the sequence is the same. We need the starting point, the ending point, the course that we traveled, the distance down that course, then we can measure the set and the drift. So here we go. The problem reads, at 2038 your position is 41092, longitude 7140.6. You are on course 301 per standard magnetic compass at 7.2 knots. At 2152, your position is latitude 4111.3, longitude 7148.6. What were the set and drift? So let's look at, first we're going to find the time. End time, 2152, minus the start time. 21, 2038. So we say 2152, 2152 minus 2038, 2038. Okay, so this, I'm going to borrow here, 12, that's 4, 14, 1, 1 hour, 14 minutes. That 14 minutes must be converted, so I'm going to divide it by 60. So we get 14 divided by 60 equals 0 0.23, 0 0.23 hours. So we have 1.23 hours. And we are going to put that into a D street, distance, speed, time. And we're doing this to find the distance down our course we should travel. Now we have our time, 1.23, 1.23 hours. And a speed was given in the problem. Speed in the problem, 7.2 knots. So 7.2 nautical miles per hour. Distance is equal to, if we look at our little, our D street memory aid, speed times time is equal to distance. So now we can get a distance down the course that we intended to travel. 7.2 times 1.23 equals 8.856, so 8.86, 8.86 nautical miles. So now we have a distance down that line, and we need, we need to correct our compass course to a true course so we can put it on the compass rows. So we need a T, V, M, D, C, and our course from problem two was 301, 301 degrees PSC, deviation 4, 301, it's from the table, 300 is 0, so 301, 0 also, 301, variation 15 west on this Black Island chart, 301 minus 15, 301 minus 15 is going to be 296, well, let me make sure, 301 minus 15 equals, ha, huh, that's funny. See, I checked it on my calculator, and it's 286. I was 10 degrees off. 286 degrees. True. Here's our course. And now when we do our drift, we're going to need another D street. I'm just going to set it up. Distance, speed, time. And our drift is, we were pushed that far in this same time. 1.23, so we already have our hours, and our distance will get off the chart. So now let's go to the chart, find our starting point, our ending point, plot the course, figure out how far down that course we went, figure out the set and the drift. So now we find latitudes and longitudes. Two, so our starting position, 4109.2, 7140.6. So 09.2 is down here, and 40.6 is over here. I'm going to, I'm going to do the latitude with the parallel rules. 9.2, right? 40, 41.09.2. Drop 41. 41, 05, 6, 7, 8, 
one, two, 41092. And I know 40.6 is over here, so I'm gonna draw it from this meridian over. And I'm gonna get 40.5.6. We're going that far down this line. We'll make a mark, mark it. Here's our start. Good, now we need to find an end. What is our ending position? 41.11.3, 71.48.6. So 48.6 is over here, and 10.11.3 right over in here. And I've been working on this chart like crazy, so if there are lines in your way for these problems, please erase them. They are gonna get in your way. So, here we go. Ending position. 41.11.3, 71.48.6. And I don't find latitudes and longitude, I don't always find longitude with the parallels, I always find latitude with dividers. The one that's hardest to get to with the parallels, I do with dividers. So this is distance is longer than my parallel rules, so I'll just extract it with my dividers. And this one's easy to get with my parallel rules. So, said 40, 71, 48.6, 45, 6, 7, 8.6. And then we were up to 11.3. Okay, 10, 11.123, here we are, from the same parallel up, make a mark, this is the end, ending position. So now, start, end, now we need to plot our course, we've done our math. We're on 301 PSC, 286 PSC. So from the start, we go toward 286, 85, 86. Bump the parallel rules up. Bring them down. Remember, we started. Where did I start? Where am I going? Start here. We're going toward 286. This is our intended line. How far down that line should we have gone? Because we went a certain speed for a certain time, which gives us a distance down this line we reckon we went. And we did that. We, we calculated the time here, 1.23 hours, given a speed, 7.2 nautical miles, which came to 8.86. And now these dividers, again, they don't go 8.86. So I'm gonna use a trick on I'm just going to use my deviation table, line it up here at 41. Now I'm going to go 8.86 and mark it. 5, 6, 7, 8.8. So 8.86. And you can see I already have marks, so I'm going to just 8.86, that one. And now I have this distance. So I'm going to take this from the start down and mark right here 8.86. This is where we reckon we should have ended up, but we actually ended up here. A current pushed us this way, right? The current affected us at this number of degrees, which is the set. And this distance divided by the time it took is the drift or the speed that it pushed us. So here we go, dividers, where we reckon to where we actually push them in, parallel rules, bump them. Now, remember, where, which direction did I push? If you get the right direction on the compass rows, you have 50% chance. Went from where we reckon toward where we actually, from where we reckon toward. And I got 99, 98, 98 degrees. So we have a set, 
a set of zero, nine, eight degrees true at, what's our drift? Our drift, we got this distance, right? Here's this distance. What is it? It is one, 2.5 distance, 2.5 nautical miles. Now, drift is a speed which is equal to distance divided by time. If that gives you trouble, remember, speed, distance. So here's speed, distance divided by time is equal speed. So distance over time, we got 2.5 divided by 1.23. Here we go on our calculator on clear. 2.5 divided by 1.23 equals 2.03. So I can say 2.0 nautical miles per hour or not. So our set was 098 and our drift is 2.0 knots. Let's check this answer. Where are we? Here we are. Number two. We got 96 at two knots. Good, that's closer. The other one's 80. The other ones, see how the other ones are the other side of the compass? Bang, we can eliminate those. 96 at two knots. So number two we're saying is B. Let's check it. Number two is B.